Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has rung alarm bell among the Indian armed forces due to their heavy dependency on Russian spares. 60 to 70 percent of Indian military hardware is from Russia and the midst of ongoing conflict and heavy sanction, Indian military is going to face the challenges in getting spares for maintenance from Russia. Though there are reserves for spares and there is no urgent requirement, but going forward it would create a problem when the spares run out of stock. The problem is going to be huge for Indian Air Force, where the Russian fighter Su-30 MKI forms the backbone with 260 of them under operation and Air Force is planning to buy additional 12 of them. The reason for a spare crisis is Russia's dependency on Western countries for some of the components which is going to be uncertain in between the heavy financial sanction from West. Su-30 MKI was once one of the best fighter jet in its category, but now it is a 25 years old technology that needs a mid-life upgrade for the improved performance, enhanced service life and be combat ready for the modern warfare. The upgrade of Su-30 MKI is going to serve dual purpose for Indian Air Force. First, it will increase the indigenous content in the fighter jet as the upgrade will be done locally and second, it will bring the capability of fighter up to the standard of the present 4th plus generation fighters. In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about what are the upgrades on Su-30 MKI which is in progress, what is planned and what possibly will not be done considering the expenses involved. So let's get started. So, a total of 9 major upgrades are planned for Su-30 MKI. First, let's talk about the engines as it is the most important component of any fighter jet. As a part of this upgrade, the existing AL-31 FP engine of Su-30 MKI is planned to be replaced with AL-41F1S engine which is also used in Su-35 fighter jets. The new AL-41F1S engine generates a thrust of 132 kN with afterburner which is 16% more thrust than the existing one. Now, the new AL-41F1S engine will have the service life of 4000 hours which will be double of the existing engine. At the same time, the mass of AL-41F1S engine and dimension is going to be similar of the existing AL-31 FP engine which means that the engine can be easily integrated with Su-30 MKI without additional modifications. The AL-41F1S engine is also more fuel efficient which will reduce the per hour flying cost and at the same time increase the operational range of the fighter jet. With the improved thrust, Su-30 MKIs would be able to carry more payload and more heavier bombs and missiles. The more powerful engine will also allow the integration of more powerful radar, generate enough power for TR modules added to it. Apart from radar, the other electronics to be integrated and upgraded with fighters such as RWR, MAWS etc will derive power from the engine. A more powerful engine will ensure these all components get enough power to perform optimally. Now there are mixed reactions on the upgrade of engines as many experts believe that the existing engine will be sufficient to power Su-30 MKI and the upgrade will add additional expense to the already tight budget of Indian Air Force. However, the new engine will have better serviceability, less per hour flying cost, increased operational and service life which will eventually cost less in the long run. India would need extensive help from Russia to upgrade these engines, which is possible but definitely going to be challenging in the present geopolitical scenario. The Su-30 MKI is currently integrated with N011M BARS PS radar. It has 400 km search range and a maximum 200 km tracking range and 60 km in the rear hemisphere. The radar can track 15 air targets and engage four simultaneously. As a part of Super Sukhoi upgrade, DRDO is offering Uttam AESA MK1 radar, which is completely 
indigenous technology based on gallium arsenide. The Su-30 MKI can accommodate approximately 1200 to 300 TR modules. Unlike most contemporary radars, Uttam features quad TRM, that is, a single plank consists of four TRMs, which allows the array to be more densely packed. Uttam has capabilities like identification friend or foe IFF, electronic and communication support measures, C band line of sight, and KU band SATCOM data links, etc., similar to those on AVOX and conformal airborne early warning and control systems. It will further ease the integration of indigenously developed air-to-air, air-to-surface or other munitions and missiles. HL and LRD has already completed the feasibility study and the findings of the same has been accepted by Indian Air Force. Once this project is cleared, the development of new Uttam AC radar which fits the Su-30 MKI nose will begin. The third upgrade is related to the mission computer of Su-30 MKI. The present fleet of Su-30 MKIs are equipped with mission computer come display processor MC486 and DP30 MK DVLPD developed by India's very own DARE Defense Aviation Research Establishment. It is one of the DRDO's laboratory. The 32-bit mission computer performs mission-oriented computation, flight management, reconfiguration come redundancy management and in-flight system self-tests. According to DARE, it has already developed advanced computers for next generation aircraft and one developed for this MK1 and MK2 which are powered by PowerPC based computing architecture is 64 bit and is a big improvement in processing power. The fourth upgrade is related to the cockpit of Su-30 MKI. HL has already showcased newly upgraded cockpit which now features two 230mm by 305mm high resolution LCDs with a multi-functional control panel with a wide 20 by 30 field of view heads-up display which brings it at par with the cockpit of Su-35. Now the main attraction of this upgrade is however VAX or voice activated controller system which will be able to understand 98% of voice command for Indian accent. The fifth upgrade is related to radar warning receiver. The existing Su-30 MKI fleets are equipped with DARE developed Tarang MK2 RWR. DARE now has developed all digital RWR named Dhruti for the Su-30 MKI fleet which is based on its experience of D-29 RWR developed for MiG-29 UPG fleet. Back in August 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is going ahead with Rs. 1000 crore project for the upgrade of RWR for the fleet of 125 Su-30 MKIs. The RWRs will enable to detect radar from the other aircraft and missiles that have active guidance. Across the airframe of a fighter, you can see antennas that are placed to alert pilot in case if a fighter jet is being painted or locked by adversary fighter. But RWR will not alert against an IR missile or missile using electro-optical sensors like man pads. This can only be tracked using MAWS or Missile Approach Warning System. MAWS upgrade is something that should be considered on higher priority learning the lesson from the heavy loss inflicted to Russian aircrafts in Russia-Ukraine conflict. DIDO has already developed the indigenous dual-color MAWS, a similar technology used in F-35s as well, and its integration with Su-30 MKI is in progress. The sixth upgrade is related to self-protection jamming ports. The Su-30 MKI fleet was originally equipped with Russian SAP-518 ports which was later replaced due to poor performance with Israeli Elta ELL-8222 airborne self-protection jamming ports. Israel's Elta has now offered wideband ELL-8222 WB ports for Su-30 MKI. However, there is a better indigenous offering as well. DARE has also developed high band jammer HBG pod which had begun trials in 2019 and also integrated with Su-30 MKI. 
DRDO is also working on a much advanced ASPJ or advanced self protection jammer which will feature gallium nitride based solid state AESA jammer transmitters along with digital radio frequency memory DRFM The DRFM jammers are known for severely degrading adversaries radar and missile seekers The seventh upgrade is related to IRST or infrared search and track system The existing fleets of Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI is equipped with Russian OLS-30 IRST which is planned to be replaced by indigenous IRST developed by BL. It will be far more advanced and will be tuned to detect stealth fighter at a longer range. The new IRST will offer better range, precision and reliability. The eighth upgrade is related to integrated communication suit. Incom. The Su-30 MKI fleets are equipped with HL developed integrated communication suite Incom 1210A which will be replaced by indigenous software defined radios. It is being developed jointly by VZ and BEL for all the fighter jets in Indian Air Force fleet. These software defined radios will be jam resistant and much more secure. The ninth and last major upgrade is related to radio altimeter. At present, Su-30 MKI is equipped with HL developed RAM 1701 which is likely to be replaced by RAM 2700A which is more advanced and was developed for Jaguar and LCA Tejas. So we have seen that India has all the indigenous options for upgrade which can be done with little help from Russia. However, when it comes to engines, India will need lot of assistance from Moscow. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.